My biggest achievement today is to be able to start and scale my company and resign from uh, 9 to 5 by 30 years old, which was one of my main goals um, <laughs> that I managed to accomplish. Uh, it's quite strange because I used to work in the city and used to enjoy it and then my goals changed and then I was able to start a business um, and then also be able to set up an education arm of the business to train people how to do the same. I am aware to the realities of that. Um, as early as when I went to uni, um, I wanted to do fine art. And my mum said to me, when's the last time you saw a rich black artist? So I switched and went to computer science. And along the way, I've been through certain situations that has reminded me that I do need to work harder. And we are living in a world where there are um, inequalities. Um, but as a black man on an international level, living in London, I do feel privileged somewhat and that ambition drives me to try and make a change for my fellow um, uh, brothers around the world, not just in London. So I'm the Managing Director of MA Finance Academy and we are based at One Canada Square, Canary Wolf, the main tower. And the Academy was set up to share with people the financial secrets of wealth. And in particular, we share with people how to create multiple streams of income. They say the average millionaire has at least seven streams of income. So we focus on four main areas. The first being property. And we have a course called How to Create a Property Portfolio with Absolutely No Money Down. The second area is how to create residual income directly from the finance industry. The third area is how to make a consistent income from online currency exchanging, otherwise known as foreign exchange trading. And the last area is how to create a weekly passive income from team building and leveraging. And I promise you, passive income will be the best form of income that you'll ever make. And it's because it's an income that you're not actively working for. Last year, Michael Jackson made over $150 million and the guy's dead. What is Michael Jackson doing dead that we are not doing alive? Life is just more about making impact, making, you know, meaningful impact into the lives of people around you. It could just be your immediate family that you have great impact upon. And that is purpose for living, rather than just thinking of only what I want to acquire for myself. But think of how you can be a benefit or a blessing to the people around you, and not just think of only yourself. I tend to dabble a bit into culinary art. So those who are a lover of cakes out there, best book cakes, um, that's what I do as well. So it's Kebby Keb cakes with exceptional taste. So that's how we roll. <laughs> My greatest achievement so far is to have won an award for my drawings on black history called Our Roots, which actually started in the United Kingdom in a paper called The Voice newspaper in 1989. And since then I've not looked back because it's gone, it's gone all around the world and has been syndicated all around the world. That's my greatest achievement. My favorite thing to do is play piano. Um, I'm um, grade 8 and my favourite composer is probably Chopin and my best piece is probably Fantasy Impromptu by Chopin. So a population scientist basically study um, three major population com components which is fertility, mortality and migration and how, how this affects um, population dynamics or population size globally. My son, when he was, who is an actor um, and, in, and now internationally known and in, in my view one of the best actors out of the UK, black actors I should add, 
he in fact when he was seven years old wanted to become an actor but I, I actually sent him to a stage school not because he wanted to become an actor but because I saw in him innately that he was good at acting um, and hence the reason why he is who he is today You know, I am a person who believes that the B in black is for bold. I actually think that you, you can be bold. I believe that the L in black is for liberty. You can be liberated. And the A in black is for action. So I believe that you're a bold young man, one who can take leadership and actually make sure that you're active in any given circumstances that you find yourself in. So my family consists of my wife, um, she's from St. Lucia, and uh, my two children, my son is seven years old, he loves football, and uh, I have a daughter, she's 12, and she's very, very creative, and together, you know, we, we, we love each other's company and we have a good time together. Alfred is a Gemini. Two sides, a burst of energy, and also the more mellow, quiet side. Put them both together, you have a creative individual who loves to meet people, interact with people, and get myself out there. <laughs> the best dish I've ever served, wow. Uh, difficult one, I suppose you have to let the customers ask, answer that question, but for me, um, we do a dish called moi moi, uh, which is like pureed beans, uh, which you, um, you blend up with like onion and red peppers and it's like full of flavour. And it's a traditional Nigerian dish, the king of most Nigerian parties. And to have, um, you know, aunties and uncles come and tell me that the way I've done my, my moi moi is one of the best they've ever had it. Yeah, that was, that was a proud moment. Being a, a black male coming from um, black ancestors in like Africa and the Caribbean, there's a certain vibe and a certain energy that was created. So, what would be like the, the food, the different types of personality, it could be just the banter, the togetherness. That's something that's always been there for centuries and centuries, um, and it's been passed down. And now that the current generation now, we've adopted all of those traits from our ancestors, from our parents, from our grandparents, and now we've. We've now become the new trendsetters, I think, in the world. When people throw rocks at you, instead of um, burying yourself under those rocks, see them as stepping stones. And that's what I've been able to do, so that's what I'm proud of. I'm proud of the fact that I've been able to, to, to keep uh, members of my community together through things that I'm doing personally. And I'm proud of the fact that I've been able to elevate them and make us move forward as a unit. That's what I'm proud of. Failure can be very painful. It's something that hurts. But to me, it's taught me so many lessons and it's what's led me to my successes. So I had to go through failure to become successful. You are a king. I am a king and no one can tell me the opposite. You need to believe in yourself and dream big. As a black man, you can make it. You can be successful. You can get where you want to get to in life. You can, every door is open for you. You are powerful. Why would you feel like as a black man you cannot be successful? I am successful. I am a king and you can also be a king. I'm proud to be black. I'm proud to be a black man in society. that in Gambia most of the streets do not have names and so you find it very very difficult to actually find your way around but also so do the police, so do the ambulance, so do the fire service and as a result of that story people are now uh, in authority actually finding ways to start giving names to the streets so I think just for the sheer impact that that story has had it has the whole country talking in Gambia um, I think that's something I'm very proud of and it's going to make a change, a positive change to the country
One black male who has really inspired me in my journey is the former president, but still president in my eyes, Barack Obama. The reason why is because I feel he set a bar for black males and females everywhere to just show us that we might be the minority in terms of how the world sees things, but we are ruling. <laughs> Personally, I think to be successful, I think you need to be very disciplined at that. Very disciplined, um, you need to be a risk taker to be able to, to take a loss and to be able to learn from that loss. You need to be able, and you need to be organized with your planning. Know where you want to go and you aim directly for that one target or maybe multiple targets, but focus, that, focus on one at a time potentially and yeah. Leave the knives alone, etc. Start looking after yourself in the whole situation. Get yourself something constructive, like how the rest of the ethnic minorities are doing it. Okay, leave leave all the guns, the violence alone, and start, you know, being a bit more disciplined and try reaching for something which is very worthwhile reaching for. Sponsor youth. You know, um, especially um, in a time like in this day and age where there's not a lot of um, good father figures out there. Um, I mean, I'm not a father itself, but I do have two um, sisters and I'm just trying my best to just be a, a good um, role model, just to give them a good idea in what man they should look for, you know, at least, you know, and obviously through God, prayer, lots of prayer. Don't be disheartened on um, what they say about young black males on the news or on any type of social media. What you have to do is keep being yourself and keep driving and working towards your ambition. And one day, hopefully in the near future, inshallah, you'll make it. Definitely, just be conscious of the kind of food you put into your body, definitely, it will have an impact on you sooner or later. You've heard of rumours about junk food, no good for your arteries and your, your body, just be conscious of it and you know, you got to eat healthy, healthy body, healthy mind. To be successful in life, you need truthfulness, be truthful to who you are and what you want to be. Secondly, have passion for it and that will keep you going even the moment of challenges. And the third thing is spice life up with moments of celebration. Celebrate the milestones.